As a busy year draws to a close, we can reflect back on a remarkable year for the Royal Air Force. But it's also time to look forward to what 2019 and our next century has to offer. This year, the nation has joined the RAF in celebrating 100 remarkable years of defending the skies and projecting Britain's air power and influence around the world. I would like to congratulate you all on the extraordinary levels of commitment you have made in making our centenary such a success across the whole of the United Kingdom and indeed worldwide. We also reflect on the central role the RAF has continued to play in the security and prosperity of the nation and the dedication of all those committed to operations both at home and abroad. This level of commitment and professionalism will, for a number of you, continue throughout the Christmas period which I can assure you is recognised at the highest levels. It is also as important to thank all of your families who are equally as committed and dedicated to the work you do and provide the freedom for you to deliver. Looking forward to 2019, the RAF will continue to deliver the nation's air and space power, sustaining our extensive operational commitments, working with NATO and our international allies, ready to support any contingency at home and abroad. We will also look forward to growing our capabilities and our next generation Air Force, continued development of the Typhoon and the F-35B Lightning, growing further our vital I-Star and RPAS capabilities, sustaining our air mobility forces, which are essential to every part of Defence's operations, and expanding further our capabilities in space, cyber and command and control. We will also recognise in 2019 the achievements of the Tornado Force, as it moves into retirement after 37 years of incredible service. None of this happens without you and the individual and collective contribution you make to the Royal Air Force's success, whether that's in the air or on the ground and across the whole force. 2018 has been an incredible year. We've celebrated our 100th anniversary in a way which has drawn universal acclaim in a way which our distinguished predecessors would judge entirely fitting, in a way which future generations will reflect on with pride. And we've done so whilst delivering extraordinary levels of operational commitment and success. Across the RAF family, we can be incredibly proud of what we have achieved together. I offer you a most sincere thank you, and I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Mr. Crossley. Merry Christmas, sir.